Good morning everyone. Today is August 27, 2024. Time is 9.18. We check to see news events. Important news on Thursday. And also to remember it's the month end. So a lot of funny things can happen as we come to the month end. I put the settle and last in and we look at our market profile. So settle is here. A little bit short inventory. Let's look at the other chart that's uh, more settlers right there. You see a little bit to the short side overnight inventory. Mon markets open at 9.30. 11 minutes to go, 12 minutes to go. We see how it opens and how it trades. I personally think it's just market is just balancing out as you can even look here and see. It's market looking for more information, right? What's the Fed going to do? Is it, you know, moving forward, right? So all of that information, we have news events again. So that's going to really take the action in the market. And it's the month end. So be cautious, you know, it's anything could happen. We also have a long weekend coming up. So all of those factors are to be considered. Um, it takes one step at a time, guys. Trading is not a prediction. It's odds. So now if the market opens here based on the overnight inventory, which is short, do we get some short covering is first thing you watch. Second thing you watch is you have an extremely, you have a prominent POC, right? So you watch that level, right? That's one step. Second step, if it does go over, um, let's see, uh, the overnight high, do we go see the overnight high? And then the single prints from yesterday, and then you have the open, which is from yesterday, things like that. And where's the value developing? Is it going higher, pulling lower? So one step at a time, again on the downside, overnight low, you had this low from yesterday, which is kind of, this is not a really a POC, but this low from yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, excuse me. So we watch that level. Uh, does it come back into yesterday's session? Does it leave the yesterday's session, which is the range, yesterday's range? And does it continue lower? So things like that. I know it's a lot of information for those of you who are new, but watch my market profile 101. I explain all of this, you know. So one step at a time, that's how you trade. Uh, right now, basically, market is in balance. It's looking for more information. On the top side, I mentioned about this gap. We could close this gap and move higher. And on the downside, we also have another gap. So it's like a trend line for me right now. If you see these levels, it's like a trend, right? So if this does start picking up tempo, you want to look for going short because the value would be lower. And, you know, <laughs> there are these single prints technically from these this gap up, right? So watch out for things like that. Let's talk a little bit about the fun coin, Bitcoin. So if you've not seen my previous video, I highly recommend you watch it because I mentioned about this P shape, right? Uh, and these sessions are the overnight. It, I just took it as regular trading hours, 9.30 to 4 Eastern. So it did look like a P shape. I said, my interpretation is like, it's just short covering. There's no new money buying. It's just my interpretation. And short covering can weaken the market. I said, the odds may be good that we could come back lower if, you know, if it doesn't hold this. This was just balancing out in this range. And look, it's just trying to fill this short covering, which happened. So we are right here at 6,200. 62,000 sorry and if we come back into this zone which I marked it as balance which is 61,700 uh, we could put potentially go down to 5,800 as well again this is not uh, a uh, prediction I will see step by step I will see if it comes in this zone the tempo picks up you look for shorts and then you could potentially go down lower the odds then are higher that it goes lower because the balance guidelines come into effect. So one step at a time, don't look for a trade, let the trade come to you. You may find answers to go long and short if you keep looking for a trade. That's the that's the side of trading nobody talks about. You may find it to go, okay, I think this would bounce off here and go longer. It could, but what if, I mean, it could even break here and then go short. Oh, maybe I should go short. So you're gonna speak both sides, right? You have to really find the odds in it. Like, okay, it may do this, it may do this, but what are the odds of it work, this working more of going short than it going higher? So that's how you, you know, condition your mind to take trades. All right, guys, that's all. Let me know if any questions and trade safe. Aloha.